Hello everyone, I am Dr. Purudhavan and today I am here to discuss about a very interesting and helpful topic with you all. That is the connection between coconut water and the kidney health. If you or someone you know has a kidney issue, you must pay extra attention to this video. So let's get straight to the point, which is can a kidney patient consume coconut water? Let's try to find out. Coconut water is so much popular for its n number of health benefits and especially the summers have begun now. And in this season, most of the people have a tendency to turn towards refreshing coconut water to keep themselves especially hydrated. But to be noted, kidney patients should be aware of the potential harm related to the coconut water consumption as it can actually be harmful to them. Now you must be thinking why it's so. Well, coconut water is naturally loaded with many electrolytes and it actually works better than ORS to provide energy and keeps away dehydration in sweating summers. But along with this all, coconut water contains one more thing which is detrimental for a kidney failure patient and that is potassium. Not only coconut water, there are other food items also prepared from coconut such as biscuits, sweet dishes, different condiments and a lot more which is consumed by kidney failure patient may increase the potassium content in the body which is harmful for their kidneys and the patient's body. But why is excess potassium is harmful for a kidney failure patient? Actually the normal amount of potassium are required and mandatory for keeping the movement of muscles in their best state. But when the potassium levels shoot up to a high level then they can lead to a condition called hyperalkemia. This makes the muscles fatigue and further the result can be seen in the heart also. Due to muscle fatigue, the muscles of heart or cardiac muscles also get tired and consequently the normal heart rhythm becomes disturbed. In simple words, the heart starts beating too slow. It pumps blood at a very low pace and the blood pressure becomes very much low. Now time for a fact. You might be knowing that the high blood pressure is a big issue for most of the kidney failure patient. So in such cases, the sudden fall in the blood pressure relieves the patient. But the patient doesn't know at that time this is happening because of high potassium in their blood. And on the other hand, this is the weakening the heart muscles and can be fatal also, if not treated timely. Moving further, we should now talk about how to manage this. So to be on a safer side, when kidney failure patient observe low blood pressure, they should go for blood test immediately. If the potassium levels comes more than 7 mg per liter, then the patient go for dialysis without delay. Whether the patient is suffering from pedal edema or not, whether the ketamine is high or not, that's all thing doesn't matter. The patient should go for dialysis to get removed the excess potassium from the body. For this reason only, the high potassium foods are strictly restricted for the kidney failure patient, just like the coconut and the coconut water. There are other things also like banana, kiwi, avocado, jaggery and dry foods. All these food items contain potassium in high amount and can cause hyperalkemia in the patient. So avoid consuming these now I hope you must have understood why the coconut water is harmful for a kidney failure patient and how to manage the problem of hyperalkemia on time so that the life threatening results can be prevented in the future. If you have any doubt you can share in the comment section below we will please to help you. Remember knowledge is power especially when it comes to taking care of your health. See you all in the next video with more such helpful information till then. Stay informed, stay healthy, bye, take care and namaste.